Skull. I got your message. And I got it loud and clear. Clear as daylight. You left the MWF with the MWF Junior Heavyweight Championship. You left September 10th with two belts around your waist. That and the ACW Light Heavyweight Championship. That you did. But on September 3rd, at night to remember, I left with three. Three championships. The UCW American, the DCW Diamond, and the new and first UCW United States Championship. Skull, your message was clear that you're planning on leaving South Connellsville with my title, but I'm going to tell you right here now, that's just not going to happen. See, you are a good friend, I've stated before, but when it comes to this United States Championship, there are no friends. Not when it comes to defending this championship. What happens after the match, that's afterwards. But when we're in that ring, one-on-one, -on -one, for the first time ever, Skull, no friends, no allies. It's all about the United States Championship. But you see, Skull, October 1st at Wicked Dreams, it's something. Something about the month of October that just gets me going, you know? There's something, when that month comes around, something snaps in me. See, it's nothing like you see about the TKT that you see before October. The happy-go-lucky, dancing around the ring TKT, no, no, no. When October comes around, Skull, it's all about business. When October comes around, it's something extreme pops out of me. Something daring. Something like I've never felt before when this month comes around. It's something about the month of October that just makes me feel bad. You know what I mean? Real bad. See, Skull, you've got a lot and a lot of dangerous moves in your arsenal. You've got a lot of them. But, I have a lot of dangerous moves in my arsenal too. That I do. But none, none more dangerous than the throw shot. The jumping flatliner that you, Skull, experienced firsthand at night to remember. When you're scaling across the ceiling at inches and inches away from grabbing that championship, the next thing you know it, you're falling 10 feet to the ring and getting caught with the thrill shot. Now that move itself is deadly, but at an elevated height like that, <laughs> it's a killer, isn't it? Skull. The thing about the thrill shot is that I can hit it at any angle. I can hit it when you least expect it. When you're going for your standing shooting star press, BAM! Throw shot. When you're going up for your 450 splash, BAM! Throw shot again. That move will come out of nowhere, Skull. And the thing is, you won't know when. But, I'm looking for this to be the fight for my life. And my life being the United States Championship. That I'm looking forward to, Skull. We've been wanting this match for nearly damn two years now. And it's finally happening. And I'm glad, Skull. But after the end of the day, after everything is said and done, a couple things are going to happen after that match. My hand is going to get raised in victory. And in the other hand will still be the United States Championship but by some slight chance that I lose, or if I win, that match is ending with a handshake, Skull. That match is going to end with a handshake. Why? Because I respect you more than just about damn near anyone in UCW or anyone on the independent circuit today. Skull, you may be unholy, 
a, a wise man once said, a very, very legendary man once said, no mere mortal can resist the evil of the thriller, the killer, thriller, T. J. Sykes. Who's bad?